What's up guys, K Plays here. You know the deal by now. Another day, another Wilds Weapon Overview. Take 10 paces back and draw, because today we're talking Light Bowgun. This one's going to be short and sweet because most of Bowgun's complexity happens in their actual gameplay. Their showcases are usually pretty straightforward. In this case it's no different, but we will finally be finding out how they'll be making Light Bowgun more different in comparison to its heavier counterpart. They're essentially just going to hit the fast forward button. It moves fast, it shoots fast, it's all around fast. For anyone who's looked into or played Frontier, you'll probably recognize at least some of these additions from Light Bowgun's Extreme Style moveset. We're seeing more and more of an influence from that game in the weapons. Wouldn't be too surprised if the same couldn't be said for the monster roster. But time will tell there. In any case, let's get into it. What do you give Light Bowgun when you allow Heavy Bowgun to rapid fire a shot or two? Well, simple. You cut down on the recoil and then speed up the shot so that it still puts out more shots in any given time span. Depending on the numbers, this will probably really benefit elemental and status oriented playstyles as opposed to the more punchy raw damage of Heavy Bowgun's typical standard and explosive ammo preferences. And again, as the name suggests, Light Bowgun is also much faster in pretty much every action, being able to reload and move while firing from the hip at a much quicker pace. To stack on even more mobility, you can sidestep and slide between shots in case you need to evade or reposition on the fly. We then see that there's also a new attachment for your gun here, which essentially just takes your fast forward from times 2 speed to times 4. With rapid fire energy mode active, you gain the ability to sidestep while firing, ending your clip by taking a knee to shoot in place. The name suggests that it might let Light Bowgun rapid fire any shot by default with this attachment, which would give it a pretty powerful unique gunning ability, but we probably need more information to confirm if that's actually what's going on here. We also don't know what this crouching shot is exactly. My guess is that it might give you a damage boost in exchange for stopping your mobility during the shot, but without damage numbers we don't really have much context for what's happening here either. Like with Heavy Bowgun's new energy meter, you'll be able to refill the gauge by either letting time pass or landing normal hits. But comparing the two, Light Bowgun recovers meter at almost an equal rate that it expends it. You should be able to keep it in full much easier than you can with the Heavy Bowgun, since you aren't burning through it with minigun mode or, if we skip ahead to the focus mode demonstration here, taking chunks out of the meter when firing your focus strike. Since you share the special ammo but not the weight of the guns, you'll notice that when Light Bowgun fires these, there's much more noticeable recoil. But I'm assuming that if you're smart enough about using the monster staggers and this backwards roll, you'll actually be able to use this to your advantage to avoid taking hits. Backing up a scene, you'll see that Wyvern Blast Wines make a return from World and Rise. They seem like they'll be functioning more or less the same, except you'll notice that when the UI is shown, there's only one instead of the usual three in the 5th gen games. There's no hint towards whether you'll be able to reload these, how fast they recover, or whether or not they'll expend your meter, unfortunately, since the UI is removed for this scene. But luckily for you gunners out there, Gamescom is creeping up closer and closer by the day. Before the trailer wraps up, we get a few more clips back to back as usual. First with what looks like a mounting attack finisher that has you unloading into the neck and head of the monster while you stand on its back, and then another few examples of the rapid fire energy attacks. It's interesting that Heavy Bowgun was actually shown with a couple more abilities, but it makes sense when you consider that that gun's a much more of a stand your ground and rain fire play style as opposed to Light Bowgun's unmatched agility and near constant attack rate. They saw you like Light Bowgun, so they dialed pretty much everything about it up to 11. These are the overhauled Bowguns that they told us about when they were asked in interviews about which weapons got the most changes. I'm definitely seeing it, but I'd be willing to bet that there is even more to see in the full game. For example, we haven't heard or seen anything about the ammo selection or the bowgun spotting system. They could have added or removed options there, or revised things entirely to match the new gun characteristics. I'm not really a gun guy, but I hope all you range players out there are happy with what you've seen. At least, the portion of you that aren't still waiting for the bow reveal. The leaked descriptions from the main site hinted some likely pretty surprising additions there. I'll link those in the description of this video again for anybody that wants to take another peek. As usual though, let me know if anything got by me and start up a chat in the comments. Until next time folks, this has been another Kate Plays and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.